Now the next tip I'm going to give you is how can you personalize uh, this row of icons here. I've already showed you that you can combine, you can change these, right? So I can uh, remove things from this uh, this area if I'd like. Um, I can actually throw any of my groups that I have here onto uh, into this area as well, right? So I can have uh, several icons listed here if that's what I want to do, or program groups. But the next step I'm going to show you is how do you modify this home row? And this is where you have your back button, your home button, and then your recent app button. So simply, we'll go to settings, and you'll go into display, and then you'll do or go into the home touch buttons. In home touch buttons, what you can do is you can modify the buttons that are going to appear there. So these are the three buttons that appear here, and I'm going to switch hands so you can see. And you'll notice that you have three buttons here on the bottom. Um, you can add notifications if you want to pull the notifications button down, the quick memo, the quick slide, or do a window functionality. So what I can do is I can press and hold here and drag one of these uh, program icons to the home bar. Now watch what's going to happen down here as soon as I let go. That button that I dragged to this portion is now here on the bottom. So if I were to press this button, notice how I have now the quick slide apps there. So that's something that you'd be able to enable. If you, you can add up to five different buttons here. So you can take up the ones that are predetermined here and you can add them there if you wanted to. I can press and hold, drag it down. Um, I could even say, I really don't want the home button there. I want it over here. And you notice how this one updates automatically. I can also take it back. So you can experiment with all of these buttons. Again, the notification panel to bring down your notification panel, the quick memo to go into quick memo, quick slide, as you saw, brings up all of those quick slide apps, and then dual window if you want to quickly toggle into the dual window without having to go into the recent list.